Season 2, Episode 1, Loose Gadgies. This week, we are talking about two things. So this episode is Why We Give Up. And Thursday, I've been through a billion interviews lately, like billions of them. And there's some patterns evolving, you know, emerging out of them. And I've had some, some very good and some not so good. So... I'm going to cover that as a topic from the perspective of an interviewer, not the interviewee, and kind of what I think is reasonable to expect, right? So, Mark, why do we? Why do we give up on things? And I'm, I'm guessing this is all about food and habits and all other things, so it's not just about something specific. Yeah, I, I mean, we're, we're at the end of January, and um, it just sort of, it came into my mind because we've floored what three topics of alcohol, food, and exercise. All mm, sort of... they've done. They've done all right. Actually, yes, the ones yeah. that you know we we create maybe a new perspective on them from the beginning of January, and mm -hmm. then you add on things like um, New Year's resolutions, and uh, and then unfortunately, um, as I was looking up some statistics, most of us will have um, already have dropped off the scale in terms of what yeah, we said we would do. Yeah, we, we joked about it a bit, saying that by January 7th, we're all, you know, back to square one and whatnot. But, yeah, know, all joking aside. Well, the, the, I suppose if you sort of take the longer view, um, only 17% uh, keep their resol resolutions for four to six months and only 6% do the nine to 12. So only 6% really? of people actually achieve or finish their New Year's resolution. So... No, no wonder so many people are sort of against them, aren't they? Because then, then why is it still a cultural item? Apparently, if so many people know that it just doesn't happen, then I think unfortunately it's 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 our generation thing. What I was reading was the younger generation tend not to do them, so they're not into mm. the New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. um, so, which which sort of makes sense. But I sort of <laughs> try to think of. Um, the reasons why we give up stuff and, it, and it, obviously it's sort of linked into what we've done but then i always also thought about things like relationships etc um the third monday of january is said to be the saddest day of the year it's near yeah blue blue, blue monday blue that's monday. what it, yeah. yeah there's a song there somewhere in there is there, bl there is. Blue or a group uh, aye yeah. somebody somewhere something to do with music yeah. Anyway. But it, it's 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 the sort of period where we sort of realise the third the third Monday of January where we realise that well, finances are up the creek. Uh, it's mm -hmm. post Christmas, mm -hmm. weather's pretty horrendous. Mm -hmm. It's the biggest month for divorce decisions. It's um, the biggest week for holiday bookings. Yeah, yes, which means we've sort maybe we've hit that blue Monday and we've thought what what is gonna make me feel a little bit better mm. so even though our finances are in the crap what do we do we commit ourselves to another couple of grand <laughs> in the summer yeah yeah i'm gonna put me deposit yeah put me deposit out because then they've got the the summer to look forward to they've got somewhat to plan and think about yeah, yeah. january's utterly nuts for even um staycations as they you know caravan holidays as they call them yeah and then it's of course utterly bonkers you add on what is it sad, uh, which we've talked about before, seasonal affective disorder. Yeah, that that gets me every year. Gets yeah. me every year. But you know, I'm I'm always looking for <clears throat> the shortest day of the year to be over, which is mm -hmm. on and around me me mum's birthday. What well, end end of Just December before, is it? Uh, Twenty second. Yeah. So yeah. it's been getting lighter since, and I've noticed and. I feel my mood change as soon as I mm. see that it's like, oh, it's half off, it's still light. Yeah. It, it I, suits I, the way that my brain works as well. You know me, I'm, I'm up till God knows when I'm working, right? So yeah, when, it, when up, it's light at night, it feels more I had normal. That, I had that discussion with Anita because um, I think it was it was Wednesday or Thursday, I came home and I just mm. happened to realise, crumbs, it's still light after work, mm. you know, and, and, uh, and then one day this week in the afternoon, I managed to get into the garden and do something else. And I, I was just like, oh, I, I just feel a bit better because of the, mm. the, the change in the in the in the sort of light. Um, mm. we, fun, funnily enough, Anita and me, we looked up last night. Uh, there's a place in Norway which for 72 days of the year doesn't have darkness. 
Yeah, imagine. 72 they, they days have, a yeah. year. They have blackout curtains and all sorts. I mean, I think, didn't Robin De Niro, wasn't he in a, in a movie about something like that? I can't remember what it was called now. Oh, what was it? Where, <clears throat> where apparently there's some, there's some seasonal... Yeah. Psychological condition, like a named condition for, for when you can't sleep during those um, those light days. But then it's just dark all the time, isn't it? Yeah. I couldn't yeah. have that. Couldn't have that. Could have it the other way around, where it's dark for 72 days of the year. Oh, I don't know. I, I'd, want, I'd want it to be light. I can sleep in any amount of light. Doesn't matter. I I'm loved, tired, I mean, I'll go to sleep. I have to say, I quite liked Thailand. It was 12 and 12, and it didn't change. It was basically... Did it, did it not? So, so where it is? Yeah. It just remains. Yeah. Uh, it's proximity to the equator, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, go back to That's sort of... That's not a bad balance. Yeah, I, 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 I liked it. You know, you got used to it. Although, then, because it's constant, but here, you've got that benefit in the summer, haven't you, where nah, well, between but... sort of 11 o'clock at night and then 4 in the morning, it's only dark for a little bit. <sighs> I know, but the, the humidity there, though. Sometimes you yeah. need to take a knife with you, don't you, just to get out the door, cut through yeah. the air. Yeah. Couldn't. Oh, it was hefty. It, it, it sort of the 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 bit about giving up. It sort of it made me question myself, and I was sort of asking any this question about me. What? Why am I relentless at some things and don't give up, and on other mm. things I give up easily? So. Um, That's an ADHD trait as well, though, isn't it? Is it? Mm. Yeah, we were yeah, having to just fun. be. You're either interested or you're not. We were you, having you fun. You care having... about it deeply or don't. Mm. Sorry, we were having, yeah. having fun about this little thing in the background there, the piano. You can see it in the in the. You see it in the mirror. No, it's it's, it's split screen, isn't it? So I can only see half the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I... so we're having we're having fun about why why I give up, and and I think what it is is. It's it's understanding your own needs because if you if I say, if I, I don't know let's say I, I see you with a headset of headset on and I think oh I I want one of them now mm. is that me just seeing something in somebody else and I think that will work for me rather than understanding what my needs are I've done that yeah. I've done that you know when <clears throat> I've just not acknowledged that I'm looking for something and haven't sat for five minutes to figure out what it is mm. and I just keep pointing at and go, ooh, that seems exciting. Maybe that'll fill whatever that hole is. Yeah. I call Rather it than like, sitting down for five minutes and trying to figure out what's missing. Because we both have ADHD, so I just see something bright and shiny and I'll think, well, I want oh, that. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. And I'm just yeah, going to drop what I've been doing. Yeah. If it's gadgets, I'm an absolute... Yeah, I've got to really rein myself into shiny yeah. things. I mean, don't tell Anita, but there's certain things on, on, on this house that I'm working on that... I see a new tool that I could use, and I'm like, "Yes, that's brilliant!" And I buy it, and I've never touched mm. it. Mm. You know, yeah, well, yeah. New, I've... new tap connectors or something. And uh... oh, I've I've bought whole whole tablets, thinking, "All right, I'm going to be writing this new app, but it'll be better instead of using an emulator that I had the real thing, and I can plug that in and try out the app on the actual device itself." I used to what? It can't have been. What a handful of times, if that, and oh. then I got bored with the app and started doing something else. Yeah, and, and it's just sat in the box. So I sort of put, try to think about things. Right, what would make things easier when you're trying to think of stuff that you want to do? That's calling re re resolutions, but things I want to do, and what would make me sort of stick to them a little bit more? And and kiss I like, obviously keep it simple, Skipsy, or mm. keep it simple, stupid, whichever. You, and if you're going to sort of make a, if you're going to say you want something, I heard somebody today on on TikTok talking about that they made a sort of and 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 not being specific on the new year's resolution, just said right, I'm going to learn a new skill, but didn't necessarily say what it was. So it just said I'm going to learn. And then I thought of something like, okay, how I want to, I'm going to create a financial goal for the end of the year, but the financial goal has a range, so I'm creating a range in that goal which now says, right, I want to save between 250 quid and 750 quid this year. So now I've made it more palatable for my brain. So rather than me saying, right, I'm going to make 750 quid this year, and after the first month, I'm way behind, so I just give up. I've created this palatable goal or range that now allows me, well, I'm, I'm 
I'm on track for the first part of the range, so let's, you know, and I'm just trying to think, does that make it more palatable for me, brain, the fact that I've, I've got an easy, remember how Carson used to create, create us this easy and stretching goals? He did, yeah. It was usually you know, two or three targets, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you, yeah. you knew you were up for some <clears> money, but you didn't know how much you were up for unless you really pushed hard for it. Mm. And and it was like, oh, it was like, we know we're getting something, but if we just push a little bit harder, we can get much more. And it's yeah, like, and the, yes. the, the first threshold might be 3% yeah. of blah, blah, blah. Right? Something that we thought, well, we can smash that. We can smash that. The next one would be... <clears throat> Just that little bit further, you're like, ooh, that, that sounds possible. And the last one was bonkers. But, yeah. But there's a couple of places I've worked since. You would say, right, we'll want a 7% turnover, your stretch is 10%. And then after that, it's 12. And they'll say, well, you know, any company can get five, so to get seven is not that much. So, you know, I'm doing you a favour. Hey? Hey? Right? Right, yeah. okay. In for the ten. In for the ten. Well, do you think that's Do you think if um if you are starting the gym and you just wound up one day, then two days, then did three, and gradually sort of over the course of the month worked your way up to I don't know, four or five days. So you did one day, then two, then you know, and just each week just kinda did that and then so and so I'm gonna be happy. <clears throat> if I can do a minimum of three. Would that mm -hmm. be better than saying, right, every day, five o'clock, straight across to the gym, you say, well, as long as I can hit three out of five, I'll consider it a win. Yeah, or uh, something I was, because I, I, I've, for the summer I've been asked if I'll go back to doing busy bus. And I was trying Hi. to think of, and I was trying to think of, um, right, what would I do? Because I want I like my free time, and I came up with like, right, I would do between twelve and fifteen days a month, and I, I sort of it started feeling a bit more palatable than saying three to four days a week, if I said twelve to fifteen days a month. Now, for some reason in my head, it worked. I was thinking, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. no. and, and, and it was mm. so it was like putting it. Putting it in that, so creating yourself a range, like you say, you know, I'm going to try and just hit a number mm. per week. It ma makes it sort of easier. Did, <clears throat> did that make you feel better that, well, actually, if I wanted to have one free week, I could smash five out in one week, right, straight off the bat, which, you know, cuts me target nigh on in half. And then I've got less to do. So if you wanted, you could just grind it all out. And go, right, done, got the rest of the month to myself. Because you, you weren't saying... You weren't saying per week, you were saying per month. That's it. And and, so, and that exact thing, because that's the way my brain's built, is like I would I would probably do that, Simon. I would smash out the first couple of weeks and then <laughs> know I've got a relaxing time the last two weeks. Phrasing is key then, isn't it? Yeah. Phrasing yeah, just, is key. Yeah, and it, it means the same, but you're just giving it more, making it more digestible to your brain, aren't you? You're just making it up. Oh, You've got to know that about yourself first, though, yeah. haven't you? I yeah. mean... We 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 dig in to our brains yeah. quite often, but not many people do. So yeah, yeah. But, maybe that's yeah. your first step. Figure, be honest with yourself, isn't it? Yeah, because Fair the, yourself out. the naysayer inside my brain, the the the, the little you know, uh, the little scattergun monkey who's saying, "No, mm. you can't do that." Um, he's 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 all right when I sort of say, "Well, we're just going to do twelve to twelve to fifteen days a month." All right, okay, that sounds that sounds all right because it's thirty thirty days. Yes, so. Yeah. So a little bit, maybe is there a bit pedantic when you say certain numbers, but easily mm. fooled if you brand it in this other way. Oh, but it's it's this. Oh, well, that yeah, sounds good. It, if I if I say I'm going to do three to four days a week, my brain has automatically worked on the assumption that you work five days a week, and now I'm only getting one day off. But actually, if I'm if I evoke it into seven, it's mm. easy, isn't it? So mm. I can I can work with it easier in my head. Yeah, it's only twelve in twelve in every thirty. Yeah, it's less than half the month, Mark. Come on, mm. Mm. you know. Uh, anyway, I got, I got some. I got. I'll go through these quickly. I got um, sort of thirteen reasons why we give up too early, and I, I, I found a couple of recent uh, examples. Uh, mm -hmm. One in particular. The first is 
making unrealistic expectations. So, you know, I'm going to make a million quid next year. Just unrealistic. Um, lack of self-discipline, you know, that, that old one about food, uh, exercise, you know, or, uh, mm, or just, mm, you know, just I can't be bothered to go to the gym tonight, you know, that one. It's the uh, hardest thing to be honest about, isn't it? It is. <coughs> yeah, oh, we yeah. just make excuses, don't we? Well, I had a meeting to do. Uh, okay. So the gym closes straight away after that meeting, does it? Um, no, it's, yeah. deli it's deliberately open it's till late. between yeah. 8 and sort of 10 at night sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. I like this one. Uh, need for external validation to feel fulfilled. I only got three likes on Facebook, so I should give up. It's like, you know, what world do we <laughs> live in when you need? <laughs> we wouldn't be very far if that had happened. Because <laughs> I think the only, the only likes we got at the, the very beginning was, was me yeah. <laughs> clicking the button, right? So, yeah, so you know, I, I you gotta why, persevere. We, don't, we didn't, don't need external validation, we need internal validation. This is for me, it's not for anybody else. But that's a topic all on its own, though, yeah. in the, the way that that's changed the way the minds of younger people work. Yeah, in yeah. The, it comes up a lot on various talk shows and whatnot that this sort of scroll, 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 like, 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 and when you say, oh, I'm going to do, oh, my, that thing I did had 50 likes, this one only had two, and it's almost, it's like that. <clears throat> that slot machine culture is being built into everything we do, that that yeah. quick sort of buzz and that, that hit of, like you say, validation and being accepted and being part of a thing and, it's it's become a reward culture, a bit mm. like um, instant gratification. Yeah, or or you know, ringing the bell <clears throat> before the food, mm. and eventually the food stops coming out. That Pavlov's dog. Yeah. Now it's now it's like buttons and hearing that little notification. Yeah, I must on your be phone of, must be popular, right? I must be. Here's one for you. Mm -hmm. Feeling burnt out. That's why we give up. So Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp resigned this week from Liverpool because he's burnt out. Uh, and, and he had when, three days off, came back and resigned. Yeah. You know, and, and, and you, I mean, it's not to be underestimated why we give up on stuff, feeling burnt out. Uh, remember, and I think the emphasis on the word feeling, um, and actually, uh, burnt out is, is another word for tired, being tired, is it? Or, you know? Yeah, I mean, he, I, I saw his response on the telly and he said, look, is I had three days being a normal guy mm. and I kind of forgot what it was like to be a normal guy and you know I'm at my age and whatnot I still want time to to be a normal guy so that's what I'm gonna go do and just do that for a while and a couple of the commentators and fans have been saying on different shows oh but he came back so energized he looked energized on the pitch I mean I was thinking do you know why that is because he's been away for three days and he's come back and went, I've made a decision and he's happy with it. Mm. And the reason he was energised on the pitch was because he'd reached this resolution. He'd had this conversation with himself and and he'd, he'd made the decision and he was he was happy with it. Well, That's I'm, why I'm, he was energised. I mean, I need to crack on, but I'm into conspiracy theories. The Barcelona coach announced he's stepping down at the end of the season. Shortly afterwards. And... You know, so let's let's see what happens in the summer. That's all I'm some saying. Some sort of, some sort of moving around there, or well, one of the one of the ex footballers, he's got a, um, I don't know if it's close, but he's got a, he's having a place built in Malaga as Jurgen Klopp, um, and um, he, th that that was always the plan. He's having it built, but it needs a lot of work, and he wants to spend some time doing it up, and it's going to be a fantastic place. Just what happens to be in Spain, doesn't it? So uh, let's see. But uh, who am I? Oh, so this could be, it's part of a longer plan. I'm going to have some time off and then... Uh, yeah. I mean, he's lining I, that I, don't up. Think, I don't think the Liverpool fans would be too happy if he suddenly turned up in, in August or September this this year in uh, in Barcelona, you know. And, um, but who mm. knows? Sometimes it's not the rest we, we need, as we found out with Career. You just need a change of scenery. You just need a different yeah. job, a different view. You know, yeah, it's true. Feel energized with grinding. different people. Yeah, and if it's grinding you down, or the people that were there have left, and the feeling you had is, you know, it's dissipated. It's, yeah. it's time to 
rather than hang around and get bitter about it, maybe it's better to. I'll not change. go through the thirteen because it sort of times cracking on, but I think there's a couple of tips to help you sort of not yeah. give up. And uh, a major one for me is uh, uh, get the naysayers well away from you. So this is about mm. you, but if you're surrounded by people who say that'll never work, mm. you'll never do that. You you know get rid of them. You know. Yeah, some people thrive on being told they can't. Yeah, and and they'll just give them the finger, and it makes them try harder. I'm I'm a bit like that. That's partly why I went out to Germany because my mum said, "I, oh, you'll never do that." Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. So, so there was a bit of that, but no, you're right. You, you shouldn't. I, I prefer neither, neither a boost, no negativity. I'd rather just someone lay it out. Yeah, give me it, give me it straight. And tell that's the bit because we, we don't want to, we're not saying we're ignoring people. What we're saying is we want, you know, if you were to use the grow model, uh, go realistic uh, options and uh, way forward, um, you would say, what are my obstacles? You know, because I wouldn't have thought of some of the obstacles in terms of what I want to do. Therefore, perspective on somebody. Well, have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? That's that, different. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. But as long as they're given a balance and saying, "Well, this this will be difficult, but you'll also have an upside on this as well." So you know, you've got that sort of balanced opinion coming your way, rather than just somebody saying, "Oh, you don't want to do that. You don't want to give up smoking because you know it gives you something to do with your hands." You know. <laughs> well, you like having things in your mouth, so I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. big sticks, <laughs> big sticks. Um, the, the the Carl taught me this one: the path's not linear. So even any goal you've got. There's going to, you know, and if you understand that it's not a straight line oh, towards yeah. the end. Um, yeah, we did a whole episode on that, didn't we, at one yeah. point. It just makes mm. it easier to accept the bumps, doesn't it, along the road? Mm. Um, mm -hmm. And what, what what causes you to feel like you want given up? What goes through your mind? Because, uh, I, I, I mean, this is another topic there, just keeping it short, is that is when is the right time to give up on something? And we're not talking about relationships here both good you know good and bad oh you mean so knowing when to stop yeah because there's never a perfect time mm. or is that is your time the perfect time because you just made the decision that's the that's mm. the bit you know um mm -hmm. but sometimes i know in the past i give up on things too early um because it was yeah. easier and in fight yeah. or flight mode it was easier to uh flight <laughs> you know yeah yeah i've done i've done that i've done that yeah and uh, without also, thinking yeah now if you the other thing as well is like mindset is like right this is a good idea january the first i'm going to do this yeah like, why have you changed your mindset three weeks later to say this is not a good idea and i'm not going to do it. what what happened from that beginning where this is what i'm going to do to three weeks later saying mm. i'm not going to do it so how a, dead set were you in the yeah, first honest, place, I love that it was. It was. Um, it was a coach I worked with. She, she she said something like, "On a scale of one to ten, how likely are you to do it?" And I was like, "An eight, right?" How do we just um, water it down a little bit till we get you towards a nine or a ten to do this? So I want you to drop something off, make it a little bit easier, but see you're closer to a nine or a ten. And, and she was she, she played with my mind that way to say, "Right, you're only at a seven or an eight in terms of how committed you are, how do we get you closer? Right, make it a bit more broader, make it a little bit more, more palatable that's for you. An, that's an interesting way to get you to figure out for yourself yeah. the obstacles without having to take in an external. Making you a bit, that's, in, that's an interesting. Yeah. Maybe it's with every resolution should be that question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what's your honest likelihood of you actually do? If I came back to you in three weeks, what's the likelihood you're still doing it? Yeah, and and we, we've got, score. and the flipping ones in us go ten, and and then oh, yeah. we the the rest of us would say right on past history, when you've done this, within three weeks you've given up. So realistically, where you at? You're probably at a five or a six on in honesty past past history. So mm. how are we going to make this a seven or an eight? By watering it down a little bit or changing it slightly or change the the parameters of it you know yeah change the targets the, yeah. the number of days the the length of time yeah if you created six new year's resolutions how do we make one 
you know. Oh, you always get. I'm going to stop eating this. I'm stopping smoking. I'm going to do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah. They're all. They're all worthy yeah. things, but it's it's yeah. going to end up being none. So why not just pick one? Yeah, yeah. If, oh, at risk of there being none. That's it. But yeah, interesting. You know, think about why do we give up on things too too easily and. Um, yeah, it's uh, it just makes you think about uh, things a little it bit does, deeper. It does. It does scoring. It's a uh, that's interesting. I'm going to mm. try that out. I'm going to try that out myself when it comes to my my upcoming weight loss journey. Lodi's Lodi's face. Oh, um, you know, be face. I, I I I'm 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 going big guns at mine. So I, I had a little reward last night. We had a little. I tell you what, I had the best salt and pepper spare ribs I've had for a long time. From yeah, well, I had some, I had some news, so mm. I um, I, I went and got a madras. Mm. Got a madras last night. Yep. And do you know how many weeks it's been? Because I've been budgeting and all sorts, and I mean, I've been, I've been buying all sorts of just frozen, yeah. whatever it is, buying the frozen version of everything because it was cheaper and and whatnot and budgeting, right? So. Last night, I was like, do you know what? I might help me think through some of these decisions I've got to make by Monday. Mm. I'm doing it. Doing it. I thoroughly enjoy it. There wasn't a drop left on the plate. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, that was nice. Oh, I, I was very close to just picking the plate up and just... <laughs> ah. that's, that's what Anita got annoyed. So you know what she bought me? She bought me a silicon spatula. She did, didn't she? Yeah. So I can yeah, well, clean the plate. You know, when you've got when you've got some nice nice juice, especially when you've made this awesome gravy or you've yeah. had your steak and it's just been running on the plate and you you've been mopping up with your chips and that oh, owie. Yeah. Owie. Right. Nice. Yep, all good. So before you start a task, know your score. Yes. Out of ten. That's your takeaway. So well mine was Madras. And it was lovely. Whitley Bay Tandoori. Not sponsored. But they do give away good free pens. One of the best pens I've ever had. Anyway. Comments. On the socials or on YouTube. YouTube subscribes and likes. Follows on the Spotify's. And the Apple. Keep the comments coming. And the uh, the questions. As well. Answer them all as you know. And until uh, Thursday's episode, take care.